if you noticed, but it's May 1st. That means daily videos coming right up the entire month of May. Today is the first official day of the month of freedom. Hell yeah, brother. You're on the Please Me For on YouTube channel. Ladies and gentlemen, the month of freedom is a very serious month around here, so we have to have a very serious promotion. What I'm about to show you is the spiciest giveaway I think we've ever done. And the way this giveaway works is you can buy just a single sticker or a hat or a t-shirt or 10 stickers and 10 hats. All that matters is if you made a purchase today or whatever day during this month, one person from each day is getting a freaking big old turbo ski thrown in their order. We didn't just do 31 76 millimeter turbos like last year. We got 88s. We got 76s. We got 64s. So if you're feeling spicy, we got a billet wheel ball bearing 64s. This is the original turbos Leroy had on him. And then Leroy had a set of 76s just like these right here. Also Ruby. Yeah, and Our Ruby. Stock 45 3 journey. Yeah. One of these. It's good for, yeah easy thousand horsepower this puppy over here you're talking 15 1600 horsepower on one of these puppies this is a this, v man we had this this was our first 88 on ruby right here this turbo and we made uh we went seven like, yeah we went sevens like deep sevens and it went uh made like what 14 and change yeah. 15 on horsepower <clears throat> so basically if you place an order on cleesmanfrawn.com today for anything it could be a sticker it could be a hat t-shirt before all of today's orders go out a random order will be chosen we will be given the phone number, we're gonna call, and we will be putting a freaking bad to the bone turbo in someone's order every day of the entire month of freedom. And to top all that off, we got a bunch of fresh merch. LS George, blue and black hat. Cletus snapbacks, dude. We got the khaki, we got the black one I'm wearing right now, and we got the American flag, red, white, and blue. New Cletus logo. New Jack Stan get the toolbox shirt. Freaking more boost, more problems. Whoever wins these turbos, they're gonna have this, this no. problem. <laughs> they ain't wrong. This is a true shirt in real life. Mr. Sam Shine Shop shirt. New McFarland Fabrication tie shirt. Something about stacking dimes and oh, cutting yeah. grinds. Ty's new shirt is sick. Brought back the Cletus Giraffe Racing t shirts. One of our all time favorites. Had to bring it back. New LS George shirt. Safety is almost as important as horsepower. Almost. Very true. Almost. New Hell Yeah Mother shirts. Maddie shirt right there. Mother's Day coming up. We got Dr. Tunamal new shirt. Route 69. We got the Flying Holly women's tank top. Also looks good on men, as we know. Yeah. Hate about the HOA, Dr. Parker shirt in stock. Oh, this is a freshie, dude. This is a freshie. New Mullet and Leroy t-shirt. Who doesn't love Mullet and Leroy McFarland Racing brand new unit? That is sick. JH Diesel, Ron Burgundy shirts in stock. Baby Cletus hats. We got stickers, new Moonshine sticker. New Jackson sticker, new Ty sticker, new George sticker. We you got stickers deal. in stock. Cleats Silky Soap Car Wash back in stock with a genuine golden retriever wash mitt. As soft as a golden retriever. Same spray wax, best spray wax in the biz. Back in stock. And yeah, you could buy a t-shirt, but you could easily just buy one of these keychains and have the same odds at winning one of these turbskis. So make sure you put in all your information at your order, put in your phone number. If you don't put in your phone number and you win, we can't call you. And those days, you know, they're just not as exciting. Last but not least. Brought it back, your guys' favorite, James. Tall, nitrous oxide service t-shirt. Hell yeah. All right, guys, let's get to the first video of the month of freedom. Don't forget to hit up cleesmanfrawn.com for an opportunity at one of these awesome turbos. It's a really exciting promotion for us to do with you guys. Well, that's enough talking. Let's get to the live action. All right, George is riding this electric bike that I got for my birthday, and I got it turned all the way down. I'm about to turn it all the way up. Oh, here. That thing don't do no 80. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's like <laughs> <laughs> it's so fast you can turn it up and down Let's see if George lays it out <laughs> so <fast. laughs> that torque is wild it's nuts you just roll into it just power wheels I really should have a helmet on doing it yeah, you yeah, really yeah. should <laughs> Dude, that's pretty sick, yeah. 
extremely powerful. All right, guys, first official day of the month of freedom. We got a real special idea that we wanted to run. I've always wanted to put a car on jack stands and see how many miles we can rack up on it. And since Crown Vic, toughest car ever built, period, we got this beautiful one here. It's already survived one Freedom week. 500, won the Freedom 500, won Indy. in Bristol or yeah. Indy. No, won in Indy. Indy. And race Bristol. This car, absolute unit. This is Brian Deegan's old car. And uh, we're going to put it on jack stands right now and run it at hopefully well over 100 miles an hour for the entire month of freedom. So this thing's gonna have to run until the end of May. That's the theory. And to top things off on the Cletus 2 channel, we'll be running a live feed the entire month. It's just cheering on the month of freedom. We're just gonna rack on miles. Let's see how fast we can get it going. We're gonna put on jack stands right now. And the way we're doing this guys, cause a month of runtime, we're parking it right next to the fuel pump because then we can just pump fuel in it as the month goes on. I know, our genius just amazes you guys, I, I'm sure. We got a brand new 25 foot hose for our gas pump here that you know we better we better make sure we're less than 25 feet and hey, we better make sure we're less than 25 feet too bub what do you mean It'd be a real shame if our 25 foot hose comes oh, and we're 26 foot away <laughs> that looks like 30 feet it does good solid uh, good, good 20 old. feet right there Much You ain't shutting off until June, brother. We got about 18 feet. Literally not shutting this thing <laughs> off till June. Oh, Alright, well. Hopefully it doesn't have any bad vibrations way up in the speeds. Jack stand getting her up on the jack stand. Jack stand to jack stand, man. We got nice six ton jack stands. Hopefully they don't wiggle their way into the earth. Yeah, and then middle crash the into that good crown. Middle of the night, right the car falls <laughs> off the jack stands on the live feed and just <laughs> creams the car up there. I was thinking we could just put it on rims and chain it to a block. That way, if it falls, it just no, sparks. No, it's too safe. Yeah, kind of lame. That dangerous guy. Yeah. Oh, that no way. That ain't no any. Oh, she's ain't good, dude. Nowhere. We got us a car with cruise control and interior. Look at this. This one does not have a fresh oil change. Oh, this is fresher. She's fresher? Oh, yeah. Oh, look, look how that. clean that is. Money. Perfect, dude. Oh, my old man. Look at all that service. You oh, know wow. that shit was Oh, look at all these service records here, dude. Oh, this is the perfect one. Perfect car. I mean, hey, hey. you don't get much better than Brand that. Brand new bike. All right, bud. Do the honors. I really hope the cruise works. <laughs> oh, she's chilling. Oh. Oh, it's working. Perfect. Whoa! She definitely rocked forward on that one. Look at the throttle. <laughs> it's pouring it. <laughs> I 
a hundred, hundred and two. About. Oh, what's the mileage? What's the mileage? Right now we are at one sixty one four fifty eight. 161,458 miles. We could hit the trip odometer thing. Oh yeah, hit the trip. Look how quick it rolls. <laughs> Look at the trip thing. It's really rolling. Probably already put a mile on it. Oh yeah. Put a fan in front of this bad boy or just leave it? Totally fine. Yeah. One month, dude. What's our, uh, what's the mic? Get hot? Wow, it's smooth in here. Man, it seems pretty happy. Sounds good. Well, we've already got three miles on it. It's going fast. I mean, someone do the math. 100 some miles an hour for 31 days. It's gonna be a lot of miles. It's making some noise. <laughs> I don't know, dude. It may rattle itself to death over yeah. the next month. I can't think of a single thing. He's worried about wrong. that gas Actually, bill is what it is. <laughs> In one month, there's 744 hours, so she's going to go something about 75,000 miles, if she goes. A whole lot of gas. Yep. Well, that's not the gas mileage. I mean, this thing's at quarter throttle. I can't wait to see what it's at at the end of the day. This is crazy. <laughs> I mean, technically, it's going to be something like 800 miles. <laughs> Got a little Corey's safety gonna, car. He's gonna have <laughs> thousands of miles on it from when we started. All right, everyone back to work, I guess. I think the Crown Vic is going to have zero issues and make it the full month, no problem at all. It'll laugh at this. That's my prediction. Okay. It's gonna go many miles on those jack stands. But something's going to happen. Yeah. It's either going to break, or it's going to break boss man's wallet because that fuel bill for that 1,200 <laughs> gallons of gas he fit to burn his motor. It's going to be pretty epic. Motor, solid, I think. But yeah, she's uh, back there singing though. Dude, that rear end and the alternator are, I think, the two weak points that I've noticed working on. So that alternator makes it, and that rear end makes it. I mean, it's already got 20 miles. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, dude. That's a lot of miles, nonstop. 75,000, no oil change. It's dude, fine. That, that oil's gonna be hurting. It's overfilled. It'll be <laughs> it's gonna right. be like water. So you think rear end and alternator are gonna give up, huh? I hope they don't, but if anything goes, I think that's what it's gonna be. Okay. So I'm just shooting for Tuesday next week. I think that's about as far as we're gonna make it. As long as we can keep it filled, it's probably gonna take four tanks a day. I mean, I just, I don't know. I think a raccoon or something get caught up in it first, and that's gonna shut it down. <laughs> I don't think anything's going near that as much noise as it's making. Well, the Ford guy in me says, yeah, it's going to do it, no problem. But the realist in me says we're probably going to forget to fill it up or it's going to run out of oil. So I think I'm going to give it, I'll give it three weeks. I think it's going to go three out of the four weeks. Three out of four. Zach said a week and a half. You gave it three weeks. That's a real negative. I think person. if it makes it through the day, it's making it. I mean, we'll see. The hard part is we're rolling a lot of mileage real quick, so I think we're probably going to be filling this thing up with fuel a lot more often than we thought. Oh, a lot. But, I mean, we're looking at like 50,000 miles on one oil change, and you're supposed to go... Dude, 75,000 miles. 75? Yeah. Yeah, so, you know, we're only going to go 72,000 miles overdue on an oil change, so... Yeah. But under no load, that might not be bad. I don't know. It's hard to say. If it makes it past the day, it'll make it. That's kind of what I was thinking. This is going to be the true test. It makes the first pass the first 2,000 miles it'll probably go. Can you believe this, dude? Come and look at this. Freaking Zach. Unbelievable. Driving the winning car from the Freedom 500. Didn't latch the hood. It blew over and broke my windshield. All right, anyways, guys, we got the Indy 800 presented by Heatwave Visual next weekend at Indy Raceway Park. We got all the Crown Vicks ready. We got George racing, Cleese McFron, Ty Braun. Parker from Teeth and Turbos, Nick Seuss from Side by Side Blog, Zach Walker, Kyle from Boosted Boys, Brent from PFI Speed, Cooper Baghetti joining the race, Matt from Demolition Ranch joining the race, Jack Stan Jimmy, Brad DeBerdy, Roman Atwood joining the race in Indy, Kevin KSR, JH Diesel, Justin from Heatwave Visual, Derek from Vice Grip Garage, and then we have one to be determined driver, but all the Crown Vicks are lined back up, fixed up. It was not a small task. 
get these cars ready for Indy, but we feel pretty good about it. Let's go, let's head in the shop because all chaos is broken loose. We're trying to get these cars ready. They gotta leave now to make it there in a week, you know? Big race coming up, 80 laps around Indianapolis Raceway Park. All right, so some of you guys might've heard, we had a couple of drivers burn their feet at the Freedom 500, specifically Derek from Vice Grip Garage and Brent from PFI Speed. Our two oldest drivers, you know what I mean? So, <laughs> so we gotta take care of the boys. What is that? That's your logo. Man. Oh, dude, look at that, Cleus logo on there. So the good people over at DEI, they sell a lot of amazing heat shielding products. Send us a bunch of stuff. Zach's gonna tell you exactly how we're gonna prevent the floorboards from overheating in the cars again and actually burning people's feet. So basically, we can actually walk over to my car conveniently. And you can see, so the heat shield right here is factory, and this is exactly where drivers were burning their foot. So this will actually sit directly on top of the cat, which I've got this clamp on here, but it'll sit and create another cushion of air. A big cushion. A big cushion. And this is reflective up to 2000 degrees. So it will, you know, point there down. We already actually tested it and our floorboards went from one, what was it Dave? 170? 170 yeah, to 137 with these. So then we, got, we got cool tape, a bunch of other stuff. And then we actually have these heel things that can go on the driver's foot because I think the problem is, is some of the guys are wearing really thin driving shoes and those aren't meant for heat. Those are drag racing shoes. These puppies go around your foot. I mean, you're not gonna burn your foot if you got that on. So big shout out to DEI for helping us save the beautiful feet on our beautiful drivers. The beautiful feet, I don't know if that's the right word. So yeah, big, baby. yeah, we'll go with it, all right? So this is just 40 laps at the Freedom 500, but we have to make sure we have brand new front rights and brand new rear rights for the Indy 800 because that track is a flat oval and it destroys the outside tires. So over here, we got a big old stack of brand new Nitto MP555 G2s from the one and only Nitto Tire. Great tire. We use them on Donnie the Drift Car. We use them on our street cars. We use them on everything. They're an incredible tire. The, also, since we have so much going on over at the Freedom Factory now with all this automobile repair, the guys at Boxo set us up with a toolbox for the Freedom Factory. So we're pretty excited. This is what we got box. here. Yeah. Be big All the guys have been using Boxo quite a bit now. We love it. We got the trailer stacked with it. We got the race shop stacked with it. And if you guys ever want any Boxo stuff, that code Cletus, all caps, is always live and that's 20% off Boxo stuff. So check that out. I think this will just, this whole box will raise up off of the toolbox. Oh, it tricked us, dude. <laughs> I was all fired up. Oh, dang. Freedom dude. Factory Blue on that unit. Yeah. Oh, that's good, dude. Brother. I didn't realize that. Oh, that is that's sick. Good. Oh, look at the top. Oh, my goodness. Dude. Definitely going to get it. Scratch, Come on, but man. you know what? <laughs> Look at that. Look at that, dude. dude. Shout out to the guys in box. So, oh, you know the deal. That's amazing. She's stacked. Dude, the drawers over She's here, stacked, She's stacked. Dude. Oh, here we go. She's oh. got a combo lock. Yeah, it's combo lock. Oh, dude. man. Look at that unit. All right, guys. You got to take care of this, please. Look at this. Oh, hold on. Hold on. There we go. That is just beautiful. This is a great kit from box. So Everything you need. There's your impact stuff. Oh, yeah. Handy dandy hammers. Chisels. Here, let me check your. That's your get her done let me drawer. Check your, uh... Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, they're all 10 millimeters. <laughs> oh, oh wow. my gosh. That's pretty funny. Shout out to Boxo coming in plus. <laughs> Obviously, we got a lot happening over at the Freedom Factory between keeping up with Crown Vicks, Rangers, and actually putting on races and events. These guys are busy. So we got a toolbox that we can just roll into the event trailer and take with us, courtesy of Boxo. All right, guys, our new long distance hose worked perfect. We just put in 14 gallons, it's been seven hours. Pop that on. See how many miles we got on the trip. Yeah, look about 783 right now. 
783 miles since this morning. And, you know, it might not have been fully topped off, so that's pretty solid. I won't be able to get sure math until later, but we're worried about the axles. They're making some noise. Yeah, I mean, you think there's a lot of cooling. You all the air coming over there, yeah. <laughs> Oh my god. 108. Yeah, that one's in the sun. Honestly, everything looks pretty normal. I mean, it's just <laughs> Brother, it's a crown big. If that fan dies, we're done. So we're yeah, seven hours in. We're here. And we're 215 on the cylinder head temp. That ain't too bad. Fourth gear. RPMs were terrible. Yeah, 3, yeah, no, that's good, man. 103 mile an hour. <laughs> oh, let's go, brother. Making it happen. This wheel bearing is a little noisier than I like it to be, but it is what it is. No, it's been the same loudness all day. All right, guys. First day of the month of freedom complete. We kind of had a ton of random stuff happened today but we got through the first day i mean i'm already fired up about this it's gonna be a lot of fun here's to 30 more days that's it for now thanks for watching do it for dale wolf freaking see you later